In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some creative ideas on how you can enhance your videos with graphics, also called clip art. If you'd like to learn more about any of these editing processes, you'll find links in the description below for more in-depth tutorials. First, I want to show you where you can view graphics that are already included in the media library once you install Video Studio. You can go to Overlays, then Graphics. And here we already have some pre-installed graphics that are ready to use. If you want to find more graphics to add to this library, you can go to the Store tab of the Welcome screen. Then filter by Free. And there's a lot of content here, including an Overlay Graphics and Animations pack and a Graphic pack. You can also find content to purchase in other categories, including animated overlays and motion graphics and AR stickers. You may also use your own graphics that you already have, like your logo, or content that you get from stock sites. To bring your own graphics into Video Studio, simply drag and drop them into the Media Library or click the Import Media icon. Also, if you have a lot of graphics and want to keep them more organized, you can create new folders or subfolders in the Media Library by right-clicking and selecting Add Folder or Add Subfolder. I want to show you some of the fun ways we can use graphics in Video Studio. Let's say I'm making a video slideshow to celebrate a friend's birthday. I have my video clips and photos on the timeline, and now I want to add some graphics. Just click and drag the graphic you want to use onto the overlay track on the timeline. You can click and drag the graphic on the preview pane to reposition it, and drag on the orange nodes to resize it. You can also adjust the duration of the graphic by dragging on either side of it on the overlay track, so it lasts for the entire duration of your clip or for just a portion of it. You can also add some effects to the graphics by double-clicking on the graphic on the timeline to open the edit panel. Under Basic Motion, you can choose the direction you want the graphic to enter or exit by clicking on these arrow icons. Or you can keep the graphic static by clicking on the icon in the middle. You also have these icons that you can enable to create a fade in or fade out of the graphic, or for it to rotate before it pauses. You can enable a combination of these effects. We can also add some graphics to GIFs. Just drag your GIF or the clip you want to turn into a GIF onto the video track on the timeline and add your graphics to the overlay tracks like we did before, adding any effects you want. Then simply export as a GIF by going to Share, Custom, and choosing the GIF format. Let's add some more advanced motion effects to animate the graphic. One option is to make it follow a preset motion path. Let's say I'm making a video for my travel vlog, and I want to add some motion to this Paris graphic over my video. I'll right-click on the graphic on the overlay track on the timeline and go to Motion, Customize Motion. I can click on the first keyframe and make sure the graphic is placed where I want it to begin. Then I can click on the last keyframe and click and drag on the graphic to where I want it to end. Now when we press play, we can see the graphic follows this path. You can even click on the motion path and drag it inwards or outwards to create a curve in the motion. And then press OK. Another thing we can do is use motion tracking to make the graphic follow something in your video. I want to make this graphic follow the bike rider along the beach. Select your video on the video track and click on the track motion icon from the toolbar. Then drag the red tracker on top of the person or thing that you want to track. Now we have to add a matched object that will follow what we are tracking. Make sure Add Matched Object is selected and choose Custom to set the matched object placeholder wherever you'd like. Then click on the Track Motion button to track the motion of the object and press OK when it's finished tracking. Now locate your graphic in the library that you want to use. Then drag it on top of the placeholder and press Control on your keyboard before releasing. Press Play to preview and you can see our travel graphic follows the bikers along the beach. We can use graphics to create a series of lower third titles to use on our vlogs. First, click on the Title tab and double-click on the preview pane to add a title and choose your desired font type, size, and color. 
I'm also going to click on border and add an outer stroke border to the text. Adjust the title length for however long you want it to appear on screen. Now go to the graphics library. Just click and drag the graphic you want to use onto the overlay track on the timeline. I'm going to use one of these pinpoints. Resize and position it where you like on the preview pane and adjust the length so it matches the title. Now click on the graphic and drag it over top of the title so that they merge into one. Now we can right click on the title and select Merge and Save as Template. Then select the folder where you want to save this title. And now every time you want to use this lower third, you can access it by going to the Title tab. You can even repeat this process using similar graphics to create a set of lower thirds that all have the same style to use again and again in your projects. To easily add motion to these titles, select a transition from the Overlay Transitions library, such as Side, and add it to the beginning and end of your titles. These are just a few ways you can enhance your videos using graphics in Video Studio.